Marie Alexandrine Elizabeth Eleanor Also known as Maria Pavlovna the Elder, was the eldest daughter of Grand Duke Frederick Francis II of Mecklenburg-Schwerin with his first wife, Princess Augusta Rus of Kostritz. A prominent hostess in St. Petersburg following her marriage in 1874 to the Grand Duke Vladimir Alexandrovich of Russia, she was known by many as the grandest of the Grand Duchesses. This style of tiara, which was inspired by a Russian prototype, is merely one of a very common variety. The tiara's frame may be removed, and it can then be worn as a flexible necklace. The diamond tiara Russ of fringe design was likely created by Bolin, one of the Grand Duchess's favorite jewelers. It is mounted in silver and gold and studded with old European old mine and circular cut diamonds. When the Grand Duchess passes away, her daughter Grand Duchess Helena Vladimirovna, who will eventually become Princess Helena of Greece and Denmark, inherits all of her diamond jewelry. The Grand Duchess wears it as a headpiece in the shape of a star. Elizabeth is the one who received the fringe tiara as an inheritance from her mother the Grand Duchess Helena Vladimirovna of Russia and her line has continued to wear it ever since. The tiara has remained in use as a bridal tiara in Elizabeth's family line. The tiara was worn by Elizabeth's daughter Helen when she wed the Archduke of Austria in 1956, and by their daughter Sophie when she wed Mariano Hugo, the Prince of Windisch Greats, in 1990. The most recent family wedding in which the tiara was worn was that of Maya Olaskari and Archduke Maximilian, Elizabeth's grandson, in 2005. Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna the Elder, Grand Duchess Vladimir of Russia, and their significant court collier with Romanov sapphire, as well as round diamond sapphire earrings, the Romanov sapphire is set in a cluster and is surrounded by diamonds. When the necklace was assessed by Cartier, the primary sapphire drop had been removed because it had survived the revolution. In Germany, the sapphire necklace is still in use, however it is missing the huge, pear-shaped sapphire. The huge center stone was broken and lost when the tiara was later taken out for resetting. It then became known as the Cartier Sapphire Kokoschnik and was broken up sometime after Princess Eliana was forced to sell it in the early 1950s. When Grand Duchess Vladimir attended the famous costume ball in 1903, she wears the earlier version of her diamond aigrettes in her Kokoschnik, with the large item in the middle and on both sides the sheets in the middle the aigrette-style tiara, with tall, feather-like diamond tendrils coming out of the tiara base. The waterfall tiara in the Sharmet archive was made at the request of Grand Duke Vladimir Romanov. She was intended for his wife, Maria Pavlovna, on the occasion of their silver wedding anniversary, various diamonds run along a reed sheet. Elements fashioned to resemble water sprays, set with diamonds, support briolette diamonds that tremble with every movement and fall down in large briolettes like water drops. A pair of Russian pendant earrings with turquoise and diamonds, dating to the late 18th or early 19th century, each featuring a turquoise cabochon drop surrounded by graduated cushion-shaped diamonds, topped by a bow set with old mine diamonds, and a cushion-shaped stone framed by alternating old mine diamonds and turquoise cabochons, according to legend, they were formerly owned by Catherine II and later passed to Olga, Princess of Yugoslavia, by Grand Duchess Vladimir of Russia. In 1998, 
they were sold via direct descent for 40,250 Swiss francs in Geneva. During the coronation of Nikolai II in 1896, the Grand Duchess was seated alongside her sister-in-law Anastasia Mikhailovna of mecklenburg schwerin born a Grand Duchess of Russia. She most likely gifted the earrings to her granddaughter Princess Olga of Yugoslavia or her daughter Princess Elena of Greece. She is seen wearing her renowned sapphire and diamond diadem, which was made by Cartier for her in 1909 utilizing family sapphires set in a Cartier diamond tiara. The main sapphire was originally set as a brooch and measured 137.20 carats. Six cabochon sapphires totaling 102.16 carats total, mounted with circular cut diamonds, were placed on either side of the center cushion-shaped sapphire. She sold it to her niece Queen Marie of Romania. 1875 to 1938, whose daughter Princess Ileana later sold it to Cartier in 1948. Cartier also created the stomacher, which Marie Pavlovna ordered in 1910, using old imperial family stones and pieces from the possession of Empress Alexandra Fyodorova, Nicholas I's wife, to create this extraordinary jewel with glamour. After the death of the Grand Duchess in 1920, all ruby jewels were inherited by Grand Duke Andrei Vladimirovich. Subsequently sold after Grand Duchess's death, it was purchased by Nancy Leeds later, Anastasia, Princess of Greece, whose appetite for jewels was nearly as well developed as the Grand Duchess's. She bought it for the wife of her son William the Princess Xenia Georgievna Romanov as a wedding gift. Thank mm -hmm. you.